By the way, I'm still mad at Chad a little bit, or at least a little ornery. I mentioned yesterday, I listened to the audiobook, The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, to fall asleep. I've never seen more all caps, huh, Munka S, stop, please stop, cut the mic, etc., etc. You ignorant motherfuckers. It's, it's a history book. Why are you shaming people for learning about human history, bro? It's, it's scary to me that we got these... Maybe r slash teachers is right, bro. Maybe the next generation is cooked. It's just the specific era. Yeah, fucking a lot of bad shit went down, bro. If you study a little bit of history, you'll find that in basically every period in human history, a lot of bad shit went down. <laughs> it's because 50% of people who are into World War II are fascists. What the fuck are you talking about? It's part of like every high school curriculum across the globe. You gotta log off, bro. 50% of people who are into the Second World War, like interested in its history, the history that has provided like the foundation for the rest of the 20th century and the 21st century we live in, 50% of those people are Nazis. That's ridiculous. Like, did you have lost your mind? You got to talk to some real individuals in the real world. Now, 50% of Hearts of Iron 4 players, maybe. You don't have to worry about that. I washed out around EU4, never even played Crusader Kings 3. It's true, 8th grade to 11th grade history is basically just like learning about the Second World War. Not to mention, like, you're like, oh, learning about uh, recent history is problematic. Okay, fucking read up on Alexander the Great, bro. I think he did a little fucked up shit too. Oh, no, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, no, 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 don't worry about that. No, no, just read up about the, uh, the Peloponnesian War. Oh, no, no, uh, oh, oh, how about the Punic Wars? Uh, well, no, uh, and how about the fucking, they're all bad, bro. You think when Julius Caesar conquered Gaul? Bro walked up to Vercingetorix and like shook his hand. They were doing some fucked up shit, bro, just because it was like 2,000 years ago. Well, I don't know, maybe like 1,600 years ago. It's like, oh, you know, we're just learning about like the machinations of the battle and stuff like that. But the stuff that actually has an impact on the modern world, you're not allowed to study. Because I don't know if you know this, but there were some bad people in the Second World War. If you're learning about uh, the events that happened, you know, when your fucking grandfather was eight years old, you must be endorsing those actions. What the fuck are you talking about? What happened to your brain? Dog shit take. I need you, listen, Noob Nation 15, you're on the clock. Plead your case. You have 60 seconds. You clearly had a strong opinion about it because you said dog shit take. Literally so many 15 year olds love Nazis. Honestly, not my problem. That doesn't mean that I can't learn about history. I'm sorry, but if you're 30 learning about the rise and fall just now, I've got news for you. That's an ad hominem attack. I learned about it when I was 15 in 10th grade as well. I'm, brother, you've had two minutes to type a second reply. You type dog shit take, sorry, buddy. What's, what's coming up next? Some 14-year-old kid in Idaho gets radicalized by, you know, 4chan, and all of a sudden it's illegal to learn about human history. Like, I'm just... Those motherfuckers don't live rent-free in my head. I don't want to act like I just, you know, fell out of a coconut tree. I want to learn about the context of the world in which I'm living in. Okay, I'm just going to assume that you've left the chat because there has been no reply. It's just my experience. Sorry, I got nothing. You folded. You folded too easily to be typing fucking checks that your ass can't cash. If you're going to be crazy, be crazy, okay? Don't pretend to be crazy and then be like, actually, I'm rational. It's called lying. My 10th grade history teacher finding out that she's a fucking fascist because she's teaching us about the Second World War. <gasps> what do you, like, just think about it. Apply, like, Occam's razor to this. It doesn't stand up to the smell test, bro. The history teachers stand with you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I just, like, it's, it just seems insane. I just want to push back against it a little bit. That, like, learning about atrocities means you endorse the atrocities. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Go back to watching fucking Jim Halpert's Some Good News or something like that. You see, do you see the even origins on my side here? Now, I'm not going to endorse what Origin said, that people who have that take deserve to be bullied. They, I think they deserve to at least be pushed back upon a little bit. If anything, I'm embarrassed that I've been listening to this audiobook for seven years and I'm still learning new shit.
Because it turns out, like, if you th were under the impression that you learn anything, if you have headphones in while you're asleep, you're about as dumb as I am. <laughs> Do you shake your head during the, uh, during the rise and nod along during the fall? Of course, I have good opinions. Simultaneously, apparently there's absolutely nothing wrong with watching 12 Netflix documentaries about real fucking grisly crimes that fucking happened. As long as you shake your head whenever the bad stuff happens and then stand up and cheer when the perpetrator, usually the husband, gets arrested by the police. <laughs> Let's be real, always the husband. What about the staircase? <laughs> In, insanely good show. I stand by my take of The Staircase, which is probably from like seven years ago when it came to Netflix. That dude either did that shit 98%, okay? Or he's literally the most unlucky man of all time that both of his ex-spouses died by hitting their head on a staircase after falling down. I'm blessed that I'm not like involved in the legal system. So as a result, I don't have to choose. I have the luxury of being able to hold both possible opinions in my head at the same time. I think there's a very, very, very good chance that he did that shit. But I do hold in my head the 2% chance that he's like, again, motherfucker, nobody's going to believe this. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. They're never going to believe this shit, man. Really? Two wives died hitting their head on the staircase? Come on. But then the other crazy thing Whoa! about the staircase is that, like, the dude who was accused of the murder ended up, like, marrying the documentarian who was making the movie about him possibly slash probably killing his wife, which has to be some of the most insane riz of all time, without a doubt. There's aspersions that he killed his previous two domestic partners. And then she was like, I can fix him. If he did that shit in the first place, which maybe he didn't. <laughs> I don't know. What would you do in that situation? Well, I hope to never find myself in that situation, but I guess you never know which way, you know, your life is going to go. Um, as the documentarian, I would like to think that I probably would not fall in love with the subject of the documentary, but I don't know. Maybe that's naive. Also, in the documentary, I don't know. Maybe he's got, like, dark riz. Because the riz does not come off in the documentary, but maybe he's got, I don't know, like some, some subtextual Riz. Can you just grab the fucking rock, bro? Evil Riz is real. I've only experienced it a couple times in my life. Once was in high school. I've talked about this kid before. I hope he's doing okay. In 11th, 12th grade, there was a kid in my English class who literally was method acting as a ninja for the entire school year. Like, he would, like, sneak around the hallways and shit like that. He would try to talk like a ninja. He would tell people he was a ninja. And, like, nobody, like, bullied him, but everybody was like, this is a little weird. And then he inexplicably had, like, the most nice, normal girlfriend of all time. And everyone was like, you know you're dating the kid who's pretending to be, like, a ninja, right? And she's like, yeah. Like, she, he had cast, like, some kind of spell over, <laughs> over her or something. Some kind of, like, mind control, some Sith brain jacking shit, man. I don't know. It's, it is, to this day, I, I don't really understand it, but I, I, I have to at least respect it in a way. That's the only time I think I've experienced secondhand Dark Riz. Because he was, I don't know, there was, like, some kind of witchcraft involved or something some kind of ninja magic do you think he's still a ninja 
No, I mean, this was like 2006. I think he probably like just got over it as something. I mean, he was only like 16 or 17 years old, right? Don't start the singing, then you can't stop. So true. When you were young, you were the king of Austin Powers. And now you kidnap Nigel Powers as his foe to get the man of mystery to show. This is the room one afternoon where Fat Bastard ate you. And how Felicity Shagwell shagged him real well to place a homing device where no one dared to dwell.